Now we welcome Titans Pro Bowl quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Ryan, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic because we got football, right? This team returns virtually everybody on offense. Have you ever been part of a football team that returned this many guys on your side of the ball in the NFL, in college, in high school, anywhere? Yeah, probably not. Maybe maybe one year in college, but I, I'm not even sure. I haven't haven't thought about that too much yet. It's been uh, it's been great having our guys back, just having the familiarity with uh, not only the personnel but with the offense and the steps we've been able to take throughout the offseason, even though it looked a little bit different. Diving into the details a little bit deeper than we ever got to last year, just because we're not you know starting at square one with guys just learning the offense. You know, we have guys who kind of have that foundation and have been around. Now we can really dial in some details that we weren't able to get to. It's the same thing with Arthur Smith, the offensive coordinator, and the offensive coaching staff. They're all back too, Ryan. Yeah, it's huge. You know, just having that consistency allows us to uh, just continue to push each other. We all know each other well at this point. Uh, we know how do we function together, how do we push each other each and every day, and uh, just have to keep the, the foot on the gas and, and keep going. Explain to the folks who are watching right now how it works for you in terms of the coaches that you work with specifically in practice on not only what you're doing as the quarterback, but also running the offense. Who else involved? Yeah, so we have uh, Pat O'Hare, our quarterback's coach, uh, Arthur Smith, you know, Coach Vrabel's very involved, uh, not only in the offense, but defense, special teams. He's, he's, he's all, the, all the way around. So, you know, those are the, the, the main guys that I deal with. Of course, I, I deal with really every coach on the offense. If we're talking through um, a tight ends route, I'll talk to Todd Downing. If it's something with the backs, Tony Dews. If it's something with the O-line, Keith Carter. You know, it's, you end up speaking and, and working with all the coaches from every position group, you know, throughout uh, a week of practice. What's the specific area in the passing game that you feel like the Titans can make a jump from 2019 to 2020? You know, we did some good things last year, but I feel like we left a lot on the table. You know, some some big opportunities we have in front of us this year to take a next step. And, uh, you know, one of those is, is third down. You know, I think we can we can be better on third down. I think we got better as the year went on, but keep the foot on the gas, you know, keep the intensity up, you know, starting now through the end of the season. How much is a healthy Adam Humphreys a key to that third down improvement? Adam's huge. You know, he's a talented guy. He's, he's played a lot of football. Uh, he really understands what we're trying to do, has a knack for finding open spots, whether in man or zone. So uh, we feel really good about what Adam brings to the table and uh, excited to have him back. And Janu Smith, a guy that you had a chance to work with in South Florida, have you been able to carry over some of that summertime work to August? Yeah, of course. You know, it was great. We got, uh, got a lot of good work in down in South Florida. And right now we're just we're just pushing forward. You know, every day is a, is a new day. Like I said, trying to make the most of it. Every opportunity we have to uh, to get a rep, whether it's RVAs, routes versus air, or, or one on ones with the DBs and linebackers, or uh, seven on our team. You know, it all looks a little bit different, but take advantage of every rep, every opportunity that we get. You learn from it, whether you complete it for a touchdown or you don't, you, you miss it. You know, there's always something you can take from from every rep and learn from it. And if you're able to to stack that up throughout the season, throughout training camp, then uh, you're going to constantly be getting better. You had a chance to see Darrington Evans before we did, and obviously you're working with him on the practice field, the third round pick out of Appalachian State, who's a running back, but has excellent hands. Uh, it, it feels like he is one of these guys that's already blending in. And while I'm sure he's having struggles, it's not overwhelming him. What have you thought of Darrington Evans so far? Yeah, mentally, he's been on top of it since the first time I worked with him. You know, I was really impressed how he was on the mental game from, from the first time we threw. You know, he came out to, to throw in South Florida, and I was calling out routes to him and calling out plays, and he knew exactly where to line up and, and what route he had. So definitely impressed from, from day one. Now he's getting into full speed. You know, team, there's a, there's a little more to it at this point, but uh, he's working really hard, and, um, you know, excited to have him. We're excited every time we get a chance to watch A.J. Brown play. This is a guy... He, we were told last year during camp, don't get too excited, don't put too much pressure, and then he goes out and has a great year. Uh, is the quarterback just as excited about number 11? Yeah, I'm really excited about AJ. You know, he's an extremely talented guy, a guy who brings a lot to the table. Uh, I love the mindset he's come in with uh, this training camp, uh, just pushing himself to, to become better ever, every day. Yeah, really excited about, about what he's done so far for us and keeping the intensity level high and, and keep pushing forward. Those of us who are fortunate enough to get to watch practice are asked all the time about how does Derrick Henry look? And I'm no expert, but he looks like Derrick Henry. Is, is his, outside of the fact that he's massive and that he's got great speed, 
Is his consistency in everything that he does really the key to his game? Yeah, it's huge. You know, he's so big, strong, physical, and he has the speed to go with it. So we saw it last year. He wears on wears on teams. The more games go on, the longer the season goes on. You know, he just keeps going. You know, he's a guy who's just consistent each and every week. You know, definitely brings a lot to the table for us. Brian, when you saw the schedule and you saw that you opened at Denver and that was your first chance to play for the Titans a year ago, did you think, man, this is going to be a whole different experience going back where we were last October? You know, definitely a big opportunity for us being on Monday night and, and being able to go on the road. And frankly, we didn't we didn't play well last year. They, they played well and we did not. So big opportunity for us to go out and start the season off on, on a good foot. If you're going to have success against the Broncos, what will you have to do? I have to play our game. You know, be who we are, play our game, and and you know, do it for four quarters.